Our world is a place of contradictions. It is made up of great beauty and diversity, yet also horror and sadness. To assure our planet survives and thrives in the coming decade, we must act now together as one. Those who can lead must do so. Youth 2030 Cities. In September of 2019, the UN Secretary General called on the world to mobilize for a decade of action on three levels, global, local, and people action. Using the Sustainable Development Goals adopted in 2015 by the world's leaders. The world responded. Youth responded. Youth 2030 Cities is a partnership between UN Habitat, Foundation Botner, youth, and local government. Youth 2030 has engaged youth from six countries who are part of the Healthy Cities for Adolescents program. The goal is to demonstrate how youth can take local action and have global impact using the Sustainable Development Goals as a measuring stick. In Cali, Colombia, Youth 2030 engaged Espacio and the Vivo Mi Calle project to explore how youth are engaging local government and driving sustainable urbanization. Eh, que no se sientan acosadas, ni en el puente, ni en el aula, ni en el resto del barrio, <coughs> con la comunidad. Mi misión sería que todas las mujeres y chicas se sientan libres y seguras en ese lugar, en el barrio, en el aula, en cualquier lugar de, de la ciudad. Puente de Colores Program represents a critical space for youth and promotes peace and community cohesion. In Thea, Senegal, Youth 2030 engaged Nutrition International in Fort de la Future, Fort de la Future involves youth partnered collaboration to address issues of nutrition and sexual and reproductive health and human rights. Over 100 young people from Senegal came together to develop a declaration and commit to focusing on the implementation of the SDGs by 2030. In Otovalo, Ecuador, indigenous youth focused on the needs to assure that their language and culture are not lost, taking the best of what cities provide in education and job opportunities and cultural revival. Porque realmente para nosotros como runas, como quichuas, eh, también llamar a la reflexión de que sí debemos aprender primero lo nuestro. Tenemos que ser eh, respetuosos del legado de nuestros abuelos, de nuestras abuelas, que con mucho orgullo ellos hablaron el quichua shimi, pero que a veces por cuestiones de, de, vi, de la vida, de nuestros padres, del racismo, del sufrimiento que ellos vivieron, ellos no nos enseñaron a nosotros. Pero ahora nosotros ya estamos grandes, grandes y para decir ahora primero aprendo lo nuestro, ¿no es cierto? Y no estamos a destiempo. Yo creo que en este año pues eh, la ONU declaró el diseño de las lenguas a nivel del mundo. Entonces eso quiere decir de que nosotros pues si no sabemos hablar no es tarde, aprendamos. En Quito, Ecuador, our local partners Diálogo de Verso provides resources and safety for LGBTQIA members as well as migrants and refugees. Last year, they painted the COVID-19 mural, which depicts an array of unique Ecuadorian faces. The project aims to make public spaces safer and more inclusive while advocating for the use of masks. Buscar la equidad y tener justicia es importante como articular tener a opción de poder participar en este proceso. Y como ustedes pueden ver, hay muchas personas que han sido marginadas por la organización. Youth in Ghana expressed a strong concern for the deterioration of their urban environment. The group, Young Reporters for the Environment, identified clean water and sanitation as two of the major issues facing urban youth in the country. In each of these cities, youth learned how to localize the sustainable development goals and implement the new urban agenda. Through these trainings and conversations with local government, we see how youth are paving the way to a future that is more sustainable, safe, resilient, and prosperous for everyone. Youth 2030 Cities proves that when youth are given a voice, change can be made. Youth 2030 Cities, a UN Habitat and Foundation Botner initiative.